as of March 1st, 2012, Google has changed their privacy uh, policy and today I'm going to show you a simple way to opt out of many of the monitoring uh, services that Google has in place. And it's actually fairly simple to do. I will attach this video as a video response to how to use Do Not Track, which is my video on enabling Do Not Track in your web browser, Firefox, uh, and also Internet Explorer. I do not know about Chrome or other browsers as I do not use them. But uh, Google actually offers a extension or add-on for Google Chrome since that is their browser to uh, permanently opt out of everything but I'd rather just use do not track and change the settings in my Google account so that they do not remember my web history. Now as you can see we're on the home page of google.com you just go down to the bottom here and click privacy the next thing you do is look for tools where my mouse is and we're going to open it up in a new tab. Now here is the tab and this link is very important. I will put it in the video description. Now here with Google Dashboard you can uh, opt out of pretty much everything and monitor what information Google your Google account stores. And most of these opt-outs are for Google Chrome, as you can see, Chrome. I'm not a fan of it, as I said earlier. And again, here is incognito mode in Google Chrome, which is probably this similar to uh, in private browsing in Internet Explorer or private browsing in uh, Firefox. Now, web history controls, uh, once you sign into your web, uh, your Google account, your you'll be able to uh, click this link, and it'll ask you to sign in. And once you sign in, you can basically say no, I don't want to be uh, have a web history kept on my account. No thanks, or yes, I do. Go ahead, and most people will say no thanks. They even uh, show you how to, how to have off-the-record Gmail chats uh, simply by choosing to have off-the-record. And here's an opt-out for Google Analytics. And this is what I was talking about. You can install an opt-out an opt in your web browser. Um, you don't really need to install this add-on because uh, Firefox and Internet Explorer, like I said, have DNT, do not track. And I'm sure this is basically what that is. And it basically tells websites that you go to, hey, I do not want to be tracked. Please don't track me. And then the site, if they are going to listen to your request, will not track you. Not all websites actually obey do not track, as far as I know. And this is also another one that a lot of people are concerned about is the new personalization search. So what you search for, Google knows, and they will monitor it and try to suit your searches better to your needs, like what you're looking for. Well, this again, what it'll do is if you open it in a new window, it uh, takes you to this page, and you can turn off personal results, and again, it'll ask you, uh, it'll open this page again and then you click this one and in order for it to memorize it uh, or to keep it permanently as a setting as off you have to sign into your account to do so so what I will do is put this link to this page that we're on right now in the video description and all you need to look for is this one actually down here or uh, here and once you get to the sign in part it'll ask you uh, to turn it off or on. I will actually show you the page that I'm referring to now. 
Okay, I just signed into my uh, Gmail account, and as you can see, web history makes search be makes search better, um, and that concerns a lot of people, and I am concerned about it too. Uh, your web history includes searches you have done on Google and pages you've clicked in search results. Uh, web history allows you to see personalized search predictions as you type get results and recommendations that are tailored to your preferences search the full content of pages you've already seen you can view and edit your web history from any computer by signing into your google account and here you can opt in which most people don't want to do so you're going to want to click this gray button that says no thanks and that's all you have to do and you're done